Hello and welcome to Top 5 Same But Different Super Special Secret Episode. It's not secret. <laughs> it's, I don't it's, know what I was going for. It's very much out there. I was just trying to improv some shit. I've never been good at improv. Did you take an improv class? I often skipped improv class, let's be real. That's such an improv thing to do. This week, in preparation for our review of Your Christmas or Mine on Monday, we are doing Top 5 Movies with Trains. Choo choo! <laughs> it doesn't sound all that glamorous, but it is almost a genre in and of itself. There's so many movies. We did have some stipulations that, you know, the train has to be a large plot device in this movie. It can't just be someone took a train once and that's, you know. <laughs> and we also excluded Harry Potter because there's eight of them and, uh,. I don't know. It doesn't seem fair. Yeah, there's a train at the beginning or somewhere in the middle of each one, but does it's not it has nothing to do with the plot. The Hogwarts Express is a character, okay? So let's get right into it, and why don't you start us off with your number five, Derek? Okay, number five, coming in with a movie that I remember being pretty good. I haven't seen it in a while. Source Code. Oh, damn. Yeah. It took place completely on a train. I remember having a lot of fun with it, and I just threw it at the bottom of the list here for that reason number five for me i'm i'm gonna be that hipster bitch just for a second the rest are more understandable this one's pretty hipster i'm sorry it's the general with buster keaton <laughs> oh it's not the great train robbery that did cross my mind though <laughs> The General with Buster Keaton is amazing. It's the one movie that made me conflicted in, oh shit, is Buster Keaton better than Charlie Chaplin? I've since decided no, but also kind of? It's real good. He's an engineer on this train, and it gets, uh, what's the word, commandeered by the army or whatever? Sure. And he's just on, on the train trying to like get his train back while they're stealing it. And uh, it's so good, and it's like a war comedy. It's just good. Is it though? Number four for me is that movie the that everybody saw in the theaters in like the early 1900s where the train came at the screen. <laughs> Dumb idiots. You made humans look stupid, you morons. <laughs> Number four for me is Bullet Train. It's been on a list before. Makes this list because Trains in the Name takes place wholly on a train and it's a fun fucking movie. So there you go. I thought that was going to be higher on your list. I'm really sad to say it can't be higher on my list because I got too drunk while watching it and didn't finish it because I got confused and angry. <laughs> we tried watching it and Aaron loves it as much as you do and I just couldn't do it. You need to watch it sober. I was talking to Aaron about how I was confused and she was like, oh, well, they're all trying to get the briefcase and I didn't remember a briefcase <laughs> at all. <laughs> and we were like over an hour in. So they're all on a train. What? Oh, boy. We'll move on from that. Number four for me mm -hmm. is kind of like a dramatic bullet train, and it's Snowpiercer. Oh, cool. Also completely takes place on a train. Just a solid flick, too. Mm -hmm. Commentary, man. Yeah. yeah. Class system. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, with a little bit of sci-fi in there, which is great. Mm -hmm. I know what your number one is going to be. I already know it. Because I think it's my number three. It's the Darjeeling Limited. Whoa. Yeah. I am baffled, bemused, bewildered, and befuddled that that is higher than Bullet Train on your list. Bullet Train and Source Code, fun movies for sure. They're not like masterpieces or anything. Number three, this is more for the trilogy than it is for this specific movie, but it's Back to the Future 3. Okay, yeah. I had it on my list, but then other movies came up that kicked it off because it's not a... The third one's not yes, the it best is. movie. It's a solid 7 out of 10 still. Don't stack it up against the masterpieces that are 1 and 2, and it's just a fun time. It's a great movie. <laughs> it's hard to not, though, because it really just rehashes events from the first and second one. Well, the second one just rehashes events from the first one. No. Yes. Not fully. Pish posh applesauce. Move on. Number... Two, for me, is also one of my favorite zombie movies, The Train to Busan. Ooh, where's Busan in the world, Derek? Uh, Korea? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Train to Busan's a sick movie. So much better than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, I never saw the sequel, did you? I did, yeah. It does what sequels do with zombie movies, and it focuses on, like, an army, group of army people. Always. 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 It was pretty solid. Train to Busan's better, though. So they didn't double it down. But I'll double it down and say Train to Busan's my number two as well. Hey! Nice segue. Number mm -hmm. one for me. You've already said it. 
Is it the beginning of Toy Story? <laughs> that's a good that's a good fucking call though. It's Snowpiercer. Cool. Yeah. Snowpiercer is a fantastic movie. And on a list of train movies, I think it's the best one. It's amazingly acted. The class system, the little sci-fi, everything's Mwah, chef's kiss and the violence oh yeah oh yeah baby yeah well number one as no, uh, to no surprise because derek already told you start dealing limited there's a special place in your heart for that movie brody wanted to do top five train movies just so he could talk about this movie i was like oh there was a train in this movie darjeeling limited top five trains <laughs> Do you have an honorable mention, sir? I do. And by no means is this a good movie. Midnight Meat Train. Oh. Clive Barker. That's not, this is not a good movie at all. No, it's not. But it's just so much fun. Ted Raimi gets his eyeball popped out. <laughs> it's, it's great. Mine fits the season very well. And that should be enough of a hint for you to guess. I know what it is. And I exclusively left it off my list. I know you did. I know you did. I thought we could have a little discussion because the Polar Express is my honorable mention. Holiday classic. Wonderful movie. And why don't you like it? Because it's not good and it's creepy and it's boring. I will give you the creepy. I get the creepy. I'm just not the first time I've heard that today. <laughs> I get the creepy, but it's so good. It's magical and wonderful and fun. It's not boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. You have no soul. Well, that was our top five movies with trains in them. Trains. What are your top five uh, train movies? Is is Murder on the Orient Express one of them? Or The Great Train Robbery. Man on a Train. Strangers on a Train. Girl on a oh, Train. Training Day. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, shit. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Oh, what about that one? It's in the title, you idiots. Why didn't you put that in your top five? Thank you all so much for watching. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Give it to us for Christmas. <laughs> Come on back on Monday when we review Your Christmas or Mine, the first one and not the sequel because we didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Why? See you later. Give it to us for Christmas. <laughs> <sighs>